Are you going on a Caribbean cruise and wondering what to wear for days when you're in port, days when you're on the cruise ship, as well as evenings that are both casual and formal? I've got you covered. I'm sharing with you all of the cruise outfits that I wore on my cruise from embarkation day through disembarkation. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now it has been quite a while since I created a video all about cruise outfits and what to wear. And since I recently went on a Caribbean cruise and I did get a few new cruise outfits to add to my cruise wardrobe, I thought that I would share that with you. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you both my casual outfits as well as the outfits that I wore for sort of those dressy nights. And I'll also share with you some bathing suits and some accessories. Now for context, these are all outfits that I wore on my most recent cruise, which was a seven night Caribbean cruise on Holland America's new Staten Dem. However, these cruise outfits can be worn on any different cruise line. So starting off with my cruise embarkation day, I did buy a new dress for embarkation day. I usually tend to really take a little bit of time choosing what I will wear on embarkation day, partially because I know I will be taking some photos and videos, but embarkation day is always a special day to me and I do want to choose something that I feel good in. Now in this case I'm actually wearing the dress that I am wearing now but I also knew that although I would wear this during the day on embarkation day I could also wear this dress later on during the cruise in the evening on a casual night. Now just something to mention we did fly into Fort Lauderdale the day before the cruise and I definitely wore more comfortable clothing for the flight over from where I live to Fort Lauderdale. Now, when it came to packing and choosing outfits for my cruise, what I did is I planned some different clothes that I could wear during the day on the cruise when I was on the cruise ship, but I also wanted to have other comfortable clothing to wear for the days that we were in ports and the different excursions that we had planned. So first I'm gonna share with you some of the clothing that I wore during the day. And then later on in the video, I'll share with you some of the outfits that I wore in the evening. And by the way, some of the items that I wore on my cruise, including the dress that I am wearing now, I did purchase them on Amazon. So whenever possible, I will include the links to the items linked down below in the description of this video. Now, during the day on a Caribbean cruise, I can often be seen in a light sundress. That really is my preferred clothing. So I did wear this easy sleeveless sundress. I think it's called a boho style. One of my favorite things about it is the fact that it has pockets. Now I have worn it on a lot of cruises and really at this point it is a staple in my cruise wardrobe. And while I love it in these colors and the turquoise and the pinks, I just find it looks so good in the Bahamas and in the Caribbean. It is available on Amazon in different colors as well. And by the way, this sundress is perfect over a bathing suit. The day that we did spend in Bimini, what I did is I had my bathing suit just right under that sundress. Now we spent another day on our cruise in Half Moon Cay, so that's a private island in the Bahamas. Now we had an excursion planned for the afternoon and that was on a glass bottom boat. But during the day, we basically kind of walked around and went to the beach and had some lunch. And on that day, I decided to wear this shorts romper outfit. It's sort of a nautical stripe, very, very comfortable. Also with pockets, which I love. Now this cruise itinerary really did keep us busy. We spent another day in Ocho Rios and we actually were able to climb Dunn's River Falls. I'll insert a picture of the bathing suit that I wore. This is from the brand Cupshe. I'm really very impressed with the way their one piece bathing suits fit. I will leave a link down in the description below this video in case you do wanna check out some of the bathing suits that I am wearing. But in this case for our day in Jamaica, I decided to also wear a little sundress over my bathing suit. That was great for the bus ride over to the falls in Jamaica. Now on the day that we were in Grand Cayman, we did something a little bit different. So on this day, we were not going to a beach. So I didn't wear a bathing suit under my sundress. And in this case, I did wear a sundress, but it was a little bit, well, a little bit less casual maybe. Now this sundress was not bought on Amazon. I think I did buy it at Marshall's at one point. I kind of think that when you find something at Marshall's, you just have to buy it right away if you think you're going to like it. And I absolutely love this dress. And just something to mention, the handbag that I'm wearing with this dress is a Lacoste tote bag. I love this tote bag. I got this tote bag for this trip because I knew that I would be flying to my cruise port and I really wanted a nice good size zipper 
Hybrid Tote. This is in a really great material because it's so washable. If you are interested in this Lacoste tote bag, I will link it down below in the description of the video. Now, during this video, I am inserting different photos and different videos. I hope you don't mind. So my husband is in this video a little bit as well. Although I'm not really talking about the clothing that he is wearing in this video, I do plan to create another video all about what to pack for men on a cruise. I've been long overdue on that video, but please let me know if that is something that you'd like to see. Please let me know down in the comments below. Now, before I move on to the evening, the way that I really prepared and planned for my outfits for my cruise is I planned the outfits that I would wear during the day when we left the cruise ship. When it came to on the cruise ship, a lot of the days, we really only had two days at sea plus embarkation day. So basically what I was wearing was a bathing suit, a bathing suit cover up, and maybe a light dress or even like a pair of shorts and a tank top. And right before this cruise, this is a funny thing that did happen is I was not able to find one of my bathing suits. I just didn't know where it was. So I ordered four days before my cruise a new bathing suit. It was this black one. I am so happy that I did. I absolutely love the cut. I know bathing suits are always very hard, but I do think that it is universally flattering. To make it a little bit easier when it comes to packing and to planning is I do use the cruise outfit planner that is part of the ultimate cruise planner. Now the ultimate cruise planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner and it can help you to keep organized for your cruise with cruise packing lists, cruise embarkation forms, cruise debarkation forms, cruise outfit planning forms, and more. If you are interested in checking out what is included with the Ultimate Cruise Planner, I'm going to leave all the information linked down below in the description of this video. Evening wear. So for the evening, we had five casual or smart casual evenings and we had two elegant or dressy nights. So we were on a Holland America cruise and there really wasn't a true formal night anymore, but there was what they called a dressy dress code. And I think for a lot of cruise lines, it's basically the same where that formal night is now a little bit more of a dressed up night. So you can definitely feel comfortable wearing a cocktail dress if you like, or even an evening gown, but you can equally feel comfortable wearing like a nicer dress or just something a little bit dressier than your everyday. And of course, a pair of nice pants and a sparkly top, that works too. So here are some of the outfits that I wore in the main dining room and in the specialty restaurants. So one of the dresses that I wore is about a knee length um, halter style floral dress. I really like this dress and I've worn it on a couple cruises so far. Now I have it paired with some black sandals and what I did on this cruise is I basically brought two pairs of dressy shoes, a pair of tan sandals and a pair of black sandals. And then in addition to that, I did bring a pair of flats and a pair of running shoes. And yes, my flip flops. So that is a total of five pairs of shoes. You could definitely get away with bringing a little bit less, but that was something that was comfortable for me. Now, another dress that I wore in the evening, but it can be worn equally during the day, especially in one of the brighter colors that it does come in. I love this dress. It is a long maxi sundress and a detail that I really like is at the bottom. So sort of below the knee, it's just a little bit sheer. So it just has this extra detail that is very pretty. Now, another evening I was feeling a little bit more casual and I wore this blue sundress. So it's sort of a mid calf length. And I've also worn this dress during the day on other cruises or even just every day at home. And then the dress that I wore is a knee length short sleeve or I guess it's a cap sleeve little dress in basically navy blue with a little bit of a white design. Now, by the way, I did pair my evening dresses with either a clutch handbag or a crossbody bag that I mostly wore on one shoulder because I did feel like it went better with the dresses. Now, when it came to the formal nights on one of the evenings, what I wore was this blue and white dress. I really love the dress, but I don't think I really got any very good pictures. I bought it a little while ago and it was the first time that I wore it on this cruise. Now, another dress that I brought with me and I planned on wearing, but to be honest, what we did is instead of going to formal night in the main dining room is we did decide to go to one of the alternative specialty restaurants, an Italian restaurant, and we didn't end up dressing well as much as I thought. So the dress that I brought with me is this long uh, evening dress. I did buy it on Amazon. It really is a great flattering dress. And this is sort of in my 
cruise wardrobe staples. And if you are looking for a more formal dress, this is absolutely perfect. Now, along with some of the clothing that I wore on my cruise, I know sometimes people ask me about some of the shoes and the accessories that I did bring or wear on my cruise. So one of the pairs of shoes that I wore are these tan braided uh, sandals. They are really very comfortable. So I will link them down below in the description of this video. There are a few different colors, but I always like a tan pair because I just feel like it's a neutral and it really just goes with everything. As well, the running shoes that I am wearing are the Reebok Classics. They are just so comfortable and I feel like whether I wear them with shorts or a cute sporty skirt, that that works well too. And I have the nautical stripe beach bag. I love that one because it has a zipper. So if I am going on a public beach or even on a snorkeling excursion, I like to have something that is large, but also something that I could zip up. And along with the tote bag that I did bring on this cruise, I also had my nautical stripe carry-on bag. That is just my absolute favorite. So I can't help but sharing it. I know so many people love it too. So I hope that this video was helpful, maybe to give you a few ideas of what you may wanna pack and wear on a Caribbean cruise. Please let me know if you do have any questions in the comments below this video. I'm also gonna leave that information about the Lifewall Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. So I'll also leave that information linked down below in the description of this video, along with any of the links for the items that I did talk about. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.